A mine operator made a request to Hamilton's blasting services to conduct blasting at the Albury Quarry. The mine operator required an overburdened blast along a large bench in the southwestern area of the quarry and secondary blasting to break up oversized rocks on the quarry floor. On the 10th of April 2018, at approximately 2.30 p.m., the quarry manager's partner and three friends arrived at the quarry. At roughly the same time, a truck driver employed by a haulage contractor arrived at the quarry to have his truck loaded. The driver said he was interested in watching the blast. In addition, another four quarry workers arrived at the firing location to watch the blast. None of these workers were involved in the blasting activity. All of these individuals were permitted to remain at the firing location. After the pre-blast briefing and prior to the blasts, Three of the workers and the visiting truck driver moved 45 metres forward of the firing location. The group was now gathered about 275 metres from the blast area. The shot firer, quarry manager and a worker were about 320 metres from the blast area. Prior to the main blast taking place, 15 smaller tow shots were conducted to break up oversized rocks on the quarry floor. At 2.30 p.m., the main blast occurred. <laughs> Multiple rocks were launched into the air by the blast. Three light vehicles and two excavators were struck by fly rock. A large piece of rock struck the shot firer's utility, knocked the vehicle's raised bonnet off its mounts and smashed the windscreen. Luckily, no one was struck by the fly rock. The New South Wales Resources Regulator's investigation found the following led to the incident. Multiple procedural safety and technical standards were not followed, including exclusion zones were not adequately established and the mine required all personnel to be at the front gate. Sentries and blast guards were not assigned or in place at the time of the blast. The firing location should have been located behind the blast area. Non-essential personnel were present at the firing location. Those present at the firing location were too close to the blast area, putting them at risk of being struck by fly rock. Inadequate blast design and insufficient design burden created fly rock. The correct type of explosive was not used in all blast holes. There was inadequate supervision of the blast. The quarry manager had no experience in shot firing and did not hold the relevant qualifications. The shot firer did not take control of the scene before firing the blast. The mine operator did not have controls in place to monitor workers and visitors at the site. Workers present during blasting were not given sufficient information and training. Mine operators and shot firers must ensure equipment and information is available to identify appropriate firing locations and accurately determine exclusion zones. Ensure appropriate firing locations and exclusion zones are established, communicated to workers and followed. Ensure that blasting operations are supervised by a suitably qualified and experienced person. And ensure workers are adequately trained in blasting procedures. For more information and to see the full report, visit our website.